Hello YouTube! Conspiracy Boy here, uh, with another little video for you guys. Uh, it's been quite a lot this week, so um, yeah, lucky you. Um, in fact, lucky me, because I was just sent this box of goodies by one of my YouTube subscribers. Uh, unfortunately, Monster Hospital doesn't have a YouTube channel. Get on with it! He needs to have a YouTube channel because he is a serious toy collector and awesomely cool. Um, all spam the comment section below with um, messages that get Hospital Monster... Was it Monster Hospital? Monster Hospital onto the tube because um, we need you, Hospital Monster. Or Ho Monster Hospital. I keep getting that the wrong way around. I'm sorry, dude. Anyway, let's just see what we got in the box. So... First thing is this Abraham Lincoln figure. He's like really detailed and he's like Hot Toys figure sort of size. Uh, he does have the hat. I think that's still in the box. But yeah, he's got like proper clothing and a little stand. I've never seen anything like this. He's all articulate and whatnot. Um, at work, I smashed someone's like Abraham Lincoln baseball giveaway thing a little while back. So, um, they tried to get me to buy him another one, and I can't find one. Well, no, I can't find one. I can't find one less than 100 quid, though. And I'm not paying 100 quid just so they can have some little difficult-to-find head bobbler. So, um, yeah, I might offer them this, but he's really cool. So I might not. We'll see. We'll, uh, we'll see if Monster Hospital is cool with that. Uh, it is Monster Hospital. Very cool. Cheers, man. So... Uh, let's get all the packaging out the way, move out the way, packaging, packaging, and on to the goodies. Oh, something fell out already. Oh, oh look at these. So, uh, Monster Hospital was the first person to correctly identify what a frog I found a couple of weeks ago was. Uh, it was a pocket shocker, and I started, I found like a little card about wee this size, and it said um, pocket shockers, and I had a flip through, and I was like, oh, I remember these things. They're from like my childhood. But yeah, he commented saying, I've got a few of these. They're not very, you know, collectible. They're not very uh, expensive. They're just quite hard to find. And yeah, I was amazed that he sent me two sealed in packet. I mean, I've got so few stuff that's mint on packet, but yeah. What a legend. Thank you for that, dude. They're definitely going on display on the shelf. So, so far, Abraham Lincoln and the Pocket Shockers. Look at all these goodies. I love it when people send me boxes of stuff. That's why I'm always so happy to send some out to other people. Here, we have, uh, whoops, have Predator beating the crap out of an alien. Like, even his, like, tail's all cut and it's, like, leaking the, the green gloop. But, yeah, Predator's kicking his ass, man. Throwing him around the place. So that's awesome. Thank you, Monster Hospital. Uh, we also have some battle trolls. We've got this cool guy here who looks like a bit of a punk rock battle monster. Uh, we've also got this dude. Oh, I forget what those guys are called. They're sort of like battle trolls, but not quite as chunky. Super troll there. Focus. Focus. Why won't you focus on me? Oh, there are foes. Uh, that one's a bit battered. He's seen better days, the Super Troll, but I don't have that one, so that one's very cool. don't think I have any of the others necessarily. I just can't remember without going through all the drawers. Uh, another one of these Battle Troll Stone Protector type looking fellas. And another one here. This is like Ninja Troll, I would say. I don't have Ninja Troll, that's for sure. I've never seen Ninja Troll. This, uh, it's a Scream Monster Family face light. Now, at first I thought maybe this was like some recent thing from Poundland, but when I looked at it, I'm thinking, I don't think it's that old. Yeah. I'm not sure it's, um, I don't know. I could tell you when this is from, guys. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. And then we got this. Tricky Putty. Now, when I looked at the Tricky Putty at the bottom, I'm sure this is pretty old school. I'm sure it is. I don't remember the Tricky Putty head twisters, 
which do look pretty cool. But on the back there is an email address, which leads me to believe that it's not something from the 80s or the 90s. But it's still pretty cool, and I'm pretty sure Tricky Putty was definitely something 90s. But yeah, just maybe it's the, the head twister aspect of it that's not quite right. Who knows, who knows. We have another one of these trolls. Um... I don't know what the C stands for. Captain Troll, perhaps? I don't know. But this one's got his cape. I've never seen him with his cape before. So that was cool. We got this troll, which I definitely don't have. He was one of the trolls I've really been looking for. He's like um, this one-eyed, horned troll. Yeah, so he's very cool. I really like him. Really, really like him. These things, which I've, I haven't seen before, but I think Nerdtastic Taylor and Oddpod were talking about in the Warren one day. Monsters vs. Zombies. Um, was it was it Brian Starner from Toy Nuts? But he was saying that these cases were really good for displaying things. I can see why. Uh, I'm not sure if you buy them like, individually, or they come in like these packs of four. But yeah, they're pretty bad, man. This one's got like a gun in his hand. That one's got like a business suit on. And I wonder if there's one in here that's like a secret one or whether that's just an empty compartment. I don't know, maybe we'll see if we can open it one handed while we film. Then we got this, which I, I don't know what this is from. It's called the Gollum Elijah. And I think if I turn this handle. One of the handles I found earlier. Yeah, it makes him move, look. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm so, Oh, no. I'm so interested in playing with my toys myself. I'm not actually doing it on camera for you guys to see. I'm terrible for that, I know. I just get too excited when it's stuff I haven't picked up at car boot sales and it's all new. So here we go. Let's get, sit back here. The light's on. Hopefully we can see. And then... Gollum Elijah spins round on his little spinning wheel of doom. In fact, I might be able to move that bit. Yeah, I can. I can move that bit and he still moves. So that is Gollum Elijah. I'll try and lift him up a bit because maybe he's not coming out very good on camera. There's Gollum Elijah. From the detail on it, I'm guessing McFarlane toys of some description because no one else really makes stuff like that. Oh, you know what? It's Clive Baker by McFarlane toys. Uh, surprisingly, um, Monster Toys might find some Clive Baker stuff in his bag, and I, I, I thought that that might be up his street. I thought he might like the monster stuff from the name. That guy's really... Oh, look, there's like hooks in his back and a hand sticking out. Uh, that's really creepy. Really, really creepy. Yeah, I might not display that one in the bedroom. Uh, we might display that one somewhere else. This is very cool as well. Another boxed toy. Uh, Little Dracula. Something I had as a kid growing up. He has been opened, but that's not a problem. Um, I quite like having toys still in the packet with this really nice rip around the side. It doesn't affect the overall display at all. Uh, and this is the light-up version. I, I seem to remember the toys and these bits being painted rather than black, but who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. And then I get the look at the back and remember all the other cool old toys that little Dracula had and how many I'm still missing. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, we've also got Samuel L. Jackson, I'm pretty sure. Is that him as Shaft? Because surely if it was Nick Fury, he'd have the eye patch. He's got like almost his hands in his pocket there. He's got a gun in his holster, but it doesn't look like there's any way for him to hold it. I can't see any markings on there, but if it's not Samuel, I don't know who that is. I'm assuming it's Samuel Jackson as Shaft. Might see if I can get someone to customise an afro for me and stick it on. And then we'll turn him into uh, a guy from Pulp Fiction. I forget his name now. What was his name? Who knows? Oh, that's the hat for Abe. Here you go, Sir Lincoln. 
and we've got a, a little fella from Playmobil and he's got a camera perhaps that's meant to be me filming the unboxing yeah so you can do the rest of the filming so here we have no sodja um now these were pretty cool these must be dinosaurs attack card stickers and bubble gum um the, gu the bubble gum gone luckily because these were made in da 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 1988 by the Tops Company. And all the ones he sent me are stickers, which is really cool. Uh, Brontosaurus. Someone recently told me that the Brontosaurus or the Brachiosaurus has been recently disproved as being a skeleton uh, dinosaur because their skeletons were like muddled up or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look into that myself. But uh, I'm sure Dreadnought 369 will be loving the look of the Trachodon. And Parasaurophilus. I'm sure he'll he'll put me right on my pronunciation. We then have these. Victim of the bug. The artwork looks really cool and retro on these, and I was like, wow, look how old school they look. Proper eighties. Actually, it's 2012. Martian city in ruins. They look like Mars attacks. Again, looks very Mars attacks. Mars attacks. Mars attacks. Don't know about that one. That one doesn't. That looks more Independence Day to me. Mars attacks. Giant spider. Aliens. Helpless victims. Skyscraper tumbles. Yeah, these are all very cool. I never saw these. These are only a couple years old. How did I miss something that's meant to look this retro? That's actually quite modern. So yeah, they're, they're very cool. I don't know where he got those. And then we have the Pokemon trading card game. Uh, this is the sample pack. I think it's the same as the one they were giving out at Comic-Con this year when I went down. Um, they tend to just be commons. I think you get three or four cards in a pack. They're always rubbish, if I'm honest with you. You never, ever, ever find like so much as a uncommon, let alone a rare or a hologram card. Which is a shame, but that's life, isn't it? So um, I might give them an open... I might keep them sealed. I haven't quite decided yet. Who knows. And then we've got this 30 Days of Night mini comic book. Uh, a friend of mine had one of these 30 Days of Night books himself. I can't actually see which one it is on the back now. But yeah, he had one of these. These look like quite dark comics. As much as I love my Walking Dead, this looks like a bit more dark than the Walking Dead, if there's such a thing. So all that stuff was really cool. I was really chuffed to have it. But let, let's be honest, guys. The best thing in the entire box was this. And on the top there it says, I'm blue tacked down, so just peel me off. And it is my favourite, the big Lebowski. And I thought, that's such a cool print. I've never seen that before. And then I touched it and I thought, that, that paper. And then there's a signature in the corner. And Monster Hospital's drawn it himself, man. He actually drew that for me. That's amazing. Literally amazing. I'm so chuffed, man. That's that's going to get put in a frame and it's going to sit in the living room. So, yeah, that's that's the best thing. Like, retro toys are cool, man. I, I love my retro toys. But art like that, crap's all over toys, to be fair. So, yeah, that is um, my unboxing video from Monster Hospital. Please, 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 guys, flood the comment section below with encouragement for Monster Hospital to get onto um, YouTube, uh, to start showing us what he finds at Car Boots, his epic boggling collection, his pocket shockers, and all that other good stuff, because I know you want to see it as much as I do. So, big thanks to Monster Hospital, and I may even do a video of what I'm about to send him, but I'll only upload it after it's confirmed that he's received and seen the contents. So yeah, stay tuned guys. Until next time, bye bye.